as it is common here. Municipal communal taps often run dry. Many residents rely on borehole water. Alarming levels of contaminants have however been detected in the groundwater. Scientists say the quality of groundwater often depends on various elements. These could include the prevalence of pit latrines in the area, domestic animal waste management systems, as well as the changing weather patterns. There is also the probability uh, that if a child consumes uh, that water from childhood to adulthood, uh, is likely, there is a likelihood of you know developing cancer but again I, I usually think that it's very difficult to keep a child you know in a community you know from you know a very young age until when they are 60 or 70. so so that in a way can still you know help because when the child go out they drink other sources of water when they go to capacity or they go to work if they are drinking water with improved quality then the the risk you know identified could be further lessened for locals, though, groundwater is the only reliable source of water for household consumption. I've had to drill a borehole, even though it is very expensive, because we hardly ever have water. I even sell my water to my neighbors because I see them suffering daily, even though I spend a lot of money buying electricity. I buy borehole water from my neighbor at two rand per tub. The water is very salty, and when you bath with it, it looks very bad. When we have visitors, if they drink the water, it gives them diarrhea. Visitors always say the water is salty, but we don't taste it anymore because we are used to it. The researchers say there are various costly means to purify groundwater. I think that the ceramic water filters can help, or even boiling, boiling the water can help to deal with the E. coli or total coliforms, you know, that were recorded uh, in the groundwater. So, uh, again, boiling may not be too cheap because of the cost of energy, uh, but the ceramic filter goes for like 300 or 350 rands. That can help to mitigate the microbial aspect. But when it comes to the nutrient aspect, because now we are sitting with two major contaminants, uh, the, the microbial contaminant and the nutrient, there are some activated carbon, you know, that has been made, you know, and, and they are available in the shops, you know, that households can install in their house. The only challenge we may be having is cost implication, because most of the people in these rural areas uh, barely survive, you know. The study revealed that one liter of groundwater requires about 250 milligrams of chloride concentration for it to be safe for human consumption. However, the study found higher levels of fluoride concentration in the water from this village. Ambutibi Maluleke, SBC News, Fiabom.